Oh, oh, hello? Focus. Camera, focus. Is it focusing? Focus. I can't see too well just because, oh, my eyeballs. It was my eyeballs. Testing the mic. Testing, testing, testing. Oh, wow. Hello, everyone. My name is Bertina from the channel Book Looks by B, and I am a self taught makeup artist and an avid book lover blending the two things I love the most, which are a books and a makeup. I am so excited to be back on Epic Reads to show how I created this book look for The Everlasting Rose by Danielle Clayton, the second book to the Bells series. If you haven't read it, The Bells is a YA fantasy series that takes place in the world of Orléans, where everyone is born gray. But there are these beings and characters called the Bells that have this magical power over beauty. And they are blessed by the goddess of beauty to help the people on the world of Orléans reach the standards of beauty that they desire. However, the world of Orléans isn't all beautiful pastries, pretty things. There's a dark, twisted element that just draws me to it. It's great. If you haven't read it yet, definitely go pick it up. And if you do pick it up, definitely let me know because I love The Bells and Daniel Clayton and I could talk about the books all day because it's one of my favorites yet. So if you'd like to see how I put this book look for The Everlasting Rose by Daniel Clayton all together, then definitely keep on watching. Starting with a clean bare face, I'm first blocking my brows with several layers of washable glue, color correcting cream, translucent setting powder, and a bunch of concealer. I'm then going to prime my face and eyes with my favorite heavy duty primers. Next, I'm going in with some more concealer under my eyes and on my brows and blending everything in with a beauty blender. I'm next going in with some full coverage foundation and another layer of concealer under my eyes on any blemishes and on my brows before setting everything with translucent setting powder. Since I'm trying to emulate a bell, I want full coverage, flawless skin. Moving on to the eye look, I really wanted to highlight the cool tone blues and purple colors of the cover, so I'm starting with a light orchid color as my transition shade and dragging the color high up onto my blocked eyebrows. After, I'm boldly blending in a dark bluish purple tone, avoiding the center of my lid for later and dragging some of both the orchid and dark purple down onto my lower lash line. With a little bit of concealer, I'm doing a cut crease higher than my natural crease and making a swooping, curved shape near the outer corner of my eye. Next, I'm boldly packing on an electric blue color onto the outer third of my cut crease and dragging some of that color toward the center of my lid to create a gradient effect. I'm then packing an icy shimmery blue shade into the inner corner and dragging that slightly over the gradient we just made. After, I'm using a dark matte navy eyeshadow to really emphasize the cut crease and to deepen the color of my outer corner. With a lilac colored cream paint, I'm drawing a thin swooping line along the cut crease and I'm topping that line with some silver and gold cosmetic glitter. I'm also going in with a teensy bit of black eyeshadow to really deepen and emphasize the look. With the same lilac cream color, I'm tracing out the basic shape of my bell brows, just slightly higher than my natural brows, and once I'm happy with the shape, I'm flicking darker purple paint to recreate brow hairs. Next, I'm using a white cream paint just below the fake brows we just made to make the illusion of a brow bone. Once that's done, I'm setting everything with a hefty amount of setting spray and using my airbrush tool to help everything dry. After my face is set, I'm filling my airbrush tool with a mix of blue, white, and red airbrush paints to make a purple tone close enough to match the book cover colors. Once I found a good mix, I'm airbrush contouring my cheekbones, temples, forehead, and around my jawline. With the same navy eyeshadow I used on my eyes, I'm slightly contouring around my nose and packing in some of it under my cheekbones to deepen the color. To add some warmth and pink to the look, I'm hitting the apples of my cheeks, the tip of my nose, and around my face with a bright rosy pink blush. And I'm just repeating the airbrush process down onto my body using the airbrush to define and contour out my collarbones, neck, and chest, and defining everything with the same navy eyeshadow. To pull more colors and tones from the book cover and book spine, I'm spritzing airbrush patches of varying blues, purples, and pink tones to mimic the blend of colors from the cover. To add some texture, I'm using a splatter brush to sprinkle a little bit of pale blue and dark blue body paint across everything I just airbrushed. Next, I'm body painting my vine and thorn choker to pay homage to the gold cover title design by marking it out with a white eyeliner pencil and going over the design with gold metallic body paint. To make that gold really pop against the airbrush colors, I'm shading around it with a little bit of dark purple body paint. I'm also going to add some gold foil to mimic the broken gold fragments from the cover title. I'm applying this by spraying my chest with setting spray, and before it dries, I'm sticking and stippling the gold foil onto my chest and touching up any spots I missed with more gold metallic paint. After, I'm highlighting my cheeks, cupid's bow, forehead, nose, and chin basically all over me with an iridescent duochrome purple highlighter. I wanted to bring more gold into the eye look to tie in the golds on my chest, so I'm also highlighting my inner eye corner with the same metallic gold body paint as well. 
Next step is to bedazzle the crap out of myself with gold, pearls, rhinestone, it's, and all the glitter. And I'm first bedazzling the base of my brows and along my cheekbones with clusters of gold pearls, purple Swarovski crystals, and iridescent rhinestones. Also adding some glitter primer across my chest before topping it with some iridescent purple glitter and sticking a random assortment of gems all over my chest. After I'm curling my lashes in preparation for falsies, which I custom painted for this book look. To better blend the lash band into the look, I'm using a pale blue body paint to draw a wing liner so sharp it could cut a courtier. And I'm dusting the base of the lashes with the same electric blue eyeshadow to give the lashes a nice ombre effect. I'm doing the same with my bottom set lashes, and I'm using the same pale blue body paint as a mascara to blend those bottom lashes in with the whole look. Moving on to my lips, I'm using a dark navy blue lip liner and filling the center of my lips with a berry pink lipstick before topping it with a shimmery purple lip topper. A bell could never have too much highlighter, and so I'm dabbling a little bit of blue liquid glitter highlighter all over my cheekbones, cupid's bow, and fake brow bone. If I'm going to be a bell, I'm going to be the sparkliest bell! So sparkly, in fact, that I even bedazzled my nails prior to match the book look for today. Eee! Time to prep my hair for the wig, and to do this, I'm hiding my hair in not one, but two wig caps! Ha <laughs> ha! Just because I have super thick long hair, and I want it as flat as possible for my favorite part, which is the wig! Eee! If you'd like to see how I styled this wig along with the other accessories for this book look, I'll be uploading a video on how I made them on my YouTube channel coming soon, so please go check it out! But once that wig is on, I'm cutting the lace to fit my face, gluing the edges down, hiding parts of it with some more flowers, and blending the edges with some purple airbrush paint. Once that's all done, it's time to put on some pale pink colored contacts to match the book spine! Ta-da! And of course, if Camille on the cover has a bell collar, I need one too! Which, fun fact and spoiler alert, Danielle Clayton told me to and I quote, Bretina, weave a wonderful web. And so I had to weave all of them onto me. <laughs> but after that, we're done. Yay! Here is our finished look for The Everlasting Rose, the second book to the Bells by Danielle Clayton. Yay! I wanted to give a tremendous thank you to Daniel Clayton for one of my top favorite YA fantasy books yet. If you're interested in reading The Bells and The Everlasting Rose, what are you waiting for? Go pick it up! It's amazing, and I hope you enjoyed as much as I did. Daniel Clayton is also the co-author of Tiny Pretty Things, which is now a Netflix series, which I have happily been binging. So definitely go check that out too, and the books as well. Also, if you're interested in The Bells or if you've read it, be sure to check out my book look on The Bells, the first book over on my YouTube channel. I also wanted to give an even bigger thank you to HarperCollins Publishers for commissioning me for this book look, and I'm ever so grateful for all the love and support for my book looks. This is probably one of my favorite book looks to put together, and it was even more fun to read. As always, thank you everyone for joining me, and I will see you all next time. Bye!